Hey guys, welcome back. We've got another tutorial with some of the finishing touches within your application. So don't go too far, but uh, today we're going to be going over the application icon. And so I am on the developer library within Apple's site. And uh, you can, as you can see from the main screen here, we've got three required elements. In the last tutorial, we did something uh, very similar to like the launch icons, getting that ready because that is a required element. And in this one, we're going to go over the application icon. Now, as you can see, we've got two different uh, application, or actually three different sizes, two for the iPhone slash iPod, and then one for the iPad. And so we're going to actually uh, develop those three, implement them into our project um, called Finish Touch, and, uh, and then proceed forward. Now, keep in mind, some of, the, some of the guidelines, you can click in here, it shows you um, some of the different ins and outs within the application icons. One of the things you guys notice is all the iOS application icons are rounded corners and they have this shiny gloss on them. Well in this case um, Apple's basically telling you don't round the corners by yourself. We we do that once you submit our, our icon. So keep that in mind when you develop um, to follow the guidelines. One of the big things is make sure all your images and icons are the PNG format and they recommend the 24 bits um, instead of the 8 bits. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and then go into and read through some of the application icon, um, some of the best practices and stuff like that, keeping it simple. Um, and then as you can see here, when iOS, iOS displays your application icon on the home screen of the device, it automatically adds the following visual effects, rounded corners, drop shadow, and a reflective shine. So you actually don't have to develop those on your own. You just come up with something uh, similar to the, like the square star here and then uh, Apple will take care of the rest of it for you to make it look shiny and uh, very user friendly. So let's jump over the project and the very first thing that we're going to do is you'll have a little drop down that says iPhone iPod deployment info. We're going to go ahead and drop into that and you can see the app icons and in here we've got two specified app icons. One is going to be for the older generations of iPhone and some of the iPod touches. So that's going to be a 57 by 57 pixel size. And the second one is going to be for anything running on iPhone 4 and later, which is going to be the Retina display 114 by 114. So I've already got those designed. I used InDesign where you can uh, customize some of that. You could use Photoshop or any other GIMP I think is free as well. Uh, free. So use that to develop some of your icons. So the first one that I'm going to drop in is just the standard iPhone iPod Touch um, icon. And you simply just drag over the PNG that you've got and it's going to input the icon into our project. And then the second one that I've got for the iPhone is going to be the high resolution, the retina display. And we're going to do the same thing with that. And so you can see we've got two different app icons for the iPhone. So this, the second area that we're going to drop into is the iPad deployment information. And again, I've, de I've designed an iPad app icon, which is, I believe, is 72 by 72. And we can just hover over it to see, well, I guess maybe not. But uh, just trust that it's 72 by 72 or go back to the guidelines. Drag that icon over into your iPad deployment info. And there you go. You got your app icon set up. Now if you want to do one further step to make sure that, uh, that it all got set up and it looks good within your development, go ahead and run your application. And in this case we chose the iPad simulator. So when we go to our simulator you can click the home button and there you can see your app icon, what it looks like. We'll blow that up. What it looks like, it's rounded. You can see that uh, we've got a little reflectivity, drop shadow, and uh, and then these the rounded corners there for you. So as you enter the application, you saw the launch image, which we inputted in the last tutorial, and you guys are set to uh, with two of the three elements for your applications. So uh, we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. 